our 11th lab program is to interface a stepper motor and rotate it in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction okay so let's first understand what is a stepper motor see uh, two things are there clockwise and anti-clockwise okay so for that uh, we have divided the stepper motor into four parts and mentioned it as 16 17 18 and 19 okay so these are the four parts for both of these cases this is a stepper motor okay if you want to rotate it in uh, clockwise direction what we have to do first we have to start a 16 then 17 then 18 then 19 right if we start from 16 like this it will go then it will go to 17 then it will go to 18 then it will go to 19 and for anti-clockwise we have to start from 19 then 18 then 17 then 16 then only it will be anti-clockwise so uh, the same things are here this 16 17 18 and 19 are nothing but the pin numbers pin number 16 first it will be made as one so it will be uh, energized and then it will be made as zero for the rest of the uh, program okay then 17 will be made as one then 18 then 19 okay so in this way the clockwise rotation will happen and same thing for anti-clockwise also okay in anti-clockwise it will start from 19 so this will be made as one then it will uh, be um, then 18 will be made as one then 17 then 16 okay so in this way we'll get an anti-clockwise rotation and for uh, quotes you have to remember 16 1 17 uh, for 17 you have to remember 2 then for 18 you have to remember 4 and and for 18 you have to remember 4 and for 19 you have to remember 8 okay if you know all these concepts the code is very easy for you okay so let's see the code uh, quickly what the code is Firstly, we have a delay function here and uh, after the delay function, we have the void main. In the void main, we are uh, uh, using these two um, statements here for initializing which um, pins we are going to use. By using this uh, code here, we are initializing the uh, pins from 16 to 19 and then the IO clear makes it um, the pins clear for the operation which you want to do here. And two for loops we have written here, first for clockwise and second for anti-clockwise. So let's see what the code uh, we have written here. For i is equal to 0 till 50 i will run means 50 times the clockwise uh, rotation will happen and what will happen here first the clear uh, statement will be written so the pin uh, place will be cleared then uh, in clockwise what I told you in clockwise we have to start from 16 then 17 18 and 19 and the code is 1 2 4 and 8 right so remember that code so what we'll be doing is uh, we'll be writing io set 0 for all the cases and we'll be writing 1 here okay in the fourth bit we are writing 1 here because we are starting from 16 then we'll write delay code here then again we'll do the same thing here io clear and then io set for after 16 we have to do for 17 what's the code for 17 for 17 the code is 2 right so uh, we'll be writing here in the fourth bit we'll be writing 2 here then in third code we'll uh, write as 4 then we'll write as 8 okay 1 2 4 and 8 for 16 17 18 and 19 okay so in this way clockwise rotation will happen and for anti-clockwise rotation also the same thing but we will start from uh, 19 so we'll be writing here 8 then 4 then 2 then 1 okay and for each uh, in between each we'll be writing the delay code also okay and uh, this is all the code for the stepper motor let's move on to the next one